So therefore, cytogenetic disorders or cytogenetic diseases are defined as diseases of whole chromosomes, perhaps a missing one, perhaps an extra one, perhaps deletions or breakage or any possible thing that your mind could imagine, geometrically speaking. Uh, they could occur in both the uh, sex chromosomes or in autosomes. Uh, so uh, a euploid person is a totally normal male or female. An aneuploid uh, person or disorder in which you do not have an exact multiple of 23. Monosomes are missing chromosomes. They could be autosomes or sex chromosomes. Trisomies are uh, an additional chromosomes, either X, uh, Y, or autosomes. You could have chromosomes breaking and you could have chromosomes uh, deleting and just about anything you could imagine. Here we go. Here's an example of a translocation in which you have one part being translocated onto another chromosome. Here you have an isochromosome that uh, breaks up in the wrong uh, plane, doesn't it? Here you have a deletion in which a segment of a chromosome uh, gets lost. Here you have an inversion in which part of the chromosome flips over. It could either be paracentric or pericentric. Here you have a chromosome that decided not to be straight and decided to go around and circle his whole life. So all of these things are not only possible, but we see them in not only um, many diseases, but also in tumors as well. Uh, the classical cytogenetic diseases involve autosomes and chromosomes. We're going to uh, talk about a couple of them. We're going to talk about the single most common cause of mental retardation in the United States. It's an extra number 21 chromosome called trisomy 21 or Down syndrome. You can also have uh, trisomies at uh, number 8, 9, or 13. In the case of 13, you m remember it's called Petau, and I hope I'm pronouncing it properly. Uh, an additional chromosome of autosome uh, 18 is called Edwards syndrome. You could have 22. Uh, we're going to also talk about a, c a disease called the 22Q, which is, of course, the short arm band and subband deletion. Uh, which is a, a, a very in interesting disease as well. Um, and then we're going to talk about either extra or missing chromosomes. And of course, in males, we're going to talk about Kleinfelter syndrome or Kleinfelter disease, if you want, if you will, in which there's at least one extra X chromosome in the male, usually one, sometimes two or three or Turner syndrome, which is the absent of uh, the second X chromosome. Here's trisomy 21. In the old days, they just uh, you could see these uh, pictures are just cut out. They're matched so they know all the chromosomes. And sure enough, when you get down towards the G region, which are the shortest ones, you can see that there's an additional one. That's trisomy 21. That, uh, that's a classical board question. In trisomy 21, or the Down syndrome babies, uh, uh, most of them are the result of maternal non-disjunction, which the chromosomes don't separate. Uh, they're monosomies, of course, usually only one additional one. Uh, they are therefore aneuploid. Besides having a non-disjunction, a, a lag at anaphase is also another uh, observed uh, situation going on. Number one cause of mental retardation, completely related to maternal age, which is why women, older women wanting to have babies usually, you know, uh, get amnios and have the chromosomes tested early. Uh, trisomy 21 uh, has a variety uh, besides mental retardation of, pro uh, of problems, congenital heart defects, risk for acute leukemias, and failure of parts of the GI system to be there, in other words, GI atresia. On the other side of the coin, um, 
I was related to one, so I can tell you they are the most lovable of all of God's children. Uh, almost all of them have a classical type of face sheets like this. If you can just memorize this for two seconds, you'll never miss a Down syndrome in your life. Um, in the chromosome 22Q11.1 deletion syndrome, you have deletion of part of the long arm of chromosome number 22. Uh, I believe it's uh, segment 11, band 2, or maybe it's band and subband, but that's how you localize it. And you cannot see this by standard karyotyping because it's too small of a region, so fish is uh, important here. These uh, babies, uh, these uh, people have a variety of cardiac defects. Uh, it's also called velocardiofacial syndrome because they have a variety of facial uh, defects as well. And it's also now generally synonymous with DeGeorge syndrome. So uh, if you remember that chromosome 22Q11 is called uh, velocardiofacial, also called DeGeorge syndrome, they have a variety of cardiac defects. and the facies is not quite as classical or memorable or unforgettable as Downs, but I think you can see a similarity here. And here are a couple of poster children from the disease. Uh, let's talk about the sex chromosome disorders. Uh, and in every case, uh, there is some abnormal sexual uh, development and fertility problem. Often, they're only discovered at time of puberty, uh, and that's why. And there usually is not retardation, but uh, generally speaking, the more additional X chromosomes you have, the more likely you are to have uh, uh, retardation problems. And to make a, something very, very simple, you know, there's a lot of different types of sex, and we'll define it a little bit later, but the general rule is if you have at least one chromosome, one Y chromosome, you are male. Well, Kleinfelter's patients are male, aren't they? Because they have at least one Y, but they have uh, at least two X's, sometimes three. Most of the time it's two. I'm told 82% of the time. Sometimes there's three or four or five. The more X's they are, the more likely they are to be um, uh, retarded. It's the number one cause of male infertility. Uh, there's hypogonadism, and that's most evident at the time of puberty. And, you know, I'm going to show you a classical picture, but, you know, the thing I remember is that they have long legs but small penises. And this is a classical uh, Turner syndrome. Uh, there's poor beard growth there's curvy hips, there's more of a female pattern of pubic hair, they have long legs, uh, small uh, external genitalia. And that's a classical picture for Turner syndrome. I'm sorry, for Kleinfelter syndrome. My uh, senior moments are starting to kick in at the end of the chapter. In Turner syndrome, the female counterpart, counterpart you do not have two X chromosomes in a female, you only have one. Although mosaics are common where only some tissues will show it and some won't. The classical features of Turner syndrome are neck webbing, edema of the dorsum of the hand, and usually congenital heart defects are often or certainly they're the most feared ones. And here's a classical Turner syndrome. You can see the webbing of the neck often edema of the dorsum of the hand, and of course, congenital heart defects. No pubic hair, they are all infertile, and they don't have true ovaries, they just have streaks. And I think we'll probably end here and just take a couple of si slides for our last uh, clip, because I want to give a little rant at the end as well. So thank you very much, folks.